G'day guys, thanks for tuning in again. As you can tell by the title of this video, it's kind of a presentation of favourite horror films, in no particular order I might add, um, but favourite horrors and favourite things in my collection. And um, uh, it was pretty difficult to start when you're doing this, but after a while I began to realise that the favourite films were the ones that I can remember when I first saw, like I can remember where I was at, whether I was at the cinema or the drive-in or whatever, and um, so, and they're just films that were just, yeah, I guess, formative, you know, in particular, Rosemary's Killer was one of those. I'm not going to go into too much detail about these movies because you know them all, and, um, but they're just personal favourites that I can remember, and, um, yeah, sitting here watching this movie as a child, that particular, uh, video classic Skull release was absolutely terrifying, and, um, haunted me for days, so, yeah, definitely Rosemary's Killer is one of my favourites. Got to get the Blu-ray, I'm going to get that soon, but... Yeah, definite favourite. The Keep. Now, can you believe... Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I understand this film has not had an official DVD release. So, hopefully Paramount will um, will get off their backsides and release it. But The Keep is a really quite a special film, and um, I think part of that, again, for me personally, is the soundtrack. And uh, Tangerine Dream did the soundtrack to this film. I'm absolutely hoping that one day we'll get a completely remastered release from Paramount and they'll do a beautiful copy and transfer and all that sort of stuff. So here's one that is a definite favourite of mine that I'll never forget when I first saw. A film that, in my opinion, has a similar vibe to The Keep is The Fog. And this was another terrifying film for me as a little kid. Uh, and this was on the CEL release, Embassy uh, label there. And um, they did a big cover one as well, but unfortunately I don't have a copy of that one. doesn't matter. Um, I've got the Blu-ray as well. For some reason, there's something about this film that just really appeals to me. And, um, yeah, really creepy atmosphere, and I just think it's brilliant. Well, I had to wimp out here and say I couldn't separate these two Barber films, but Blood and Black Lace in particular, because this is credited as being one of the first... Um, well, slasher films by strict definition that was ever made back in the late 60s. And I think that it, it really is a classic and um, brilliant. And Twitch of the Death Nerve as well, which is another fantastic film from Barbara and is an absolute must-see in my opinion. So I definitely recommend that one to you guys as well. So two favourite Barbara films for me. The Howling for me is another one of those formative year type of horror movies that I saw as a little kid that really frightened me. And um, in my opinion, probably one of the better sort of werewolf films. Well, American Werewolf in London is pretty awesome as well, but that's not my favourite. I'd say The Howling was. Haven't got the Blu-ray of this because the Blu-ray doesn't have the original, you know, the fake porn movie thing on it, but the DVD does. I think the reason why is because we only got the, the repro of the British one, and I believe that that fake porn movie was banned in Britain. It wasn't banned here, but for some reason Universal didn't put it on the Blu-ray, which is a shame. But anyway, The Howling makes the cut, and I have to say, is an absolute classic there from, from Joe Dante. Look, I don't care what anyone says, I think this is one of the best exploitation films made. And uh, My Bloody Valentine, again, was another film that haunted me as a kid, gave me nightmares for fucking weeks, and... It was kind of like one of those movies that my mum says, you're not watching any more damn horror movies, blah, 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 because, you know, I'd be fucking screaming in the night. Um, obviously, like most people, I, I was stoked when this came out uncut on DVD for the first time, and obviously on Blu-ray now as well. Um, I've got to say, I'm not impressed with this bloody cover. It's got full of holes. I mean, what the fuck is that all about? Anyway, um, doesn't matter. Lionsgate did a brilliant job. The, um, the gore scenes have not been remastered, but who cares? Um, I love my bloody Valentine. And the film finally makes sense. I mean, this film is so censored, like, it just doesn't make sense. So, yeah, definitely get the Blu ray. Fucking hell, my bloody Valentine. Great film. Martyrs, yep, martyrs. I don't care what anyone says. This is a masterpiece of modern horror filmmaking, and I think that this film is a cut above a lot of the garbage that is being made these days in terms of horror movies. And um, I absolutely love this film. Everything about it, it's a cut above the rest. It has intelligence, it's got atmosphere, it's got violence, which will rock you to your core. Brilliant film, love it, Martyrs. Check it out. I realise I just said that uh, My Bloody Valentine was one of the great exploitation movies, but this truly is as well. I mean, far out. Black Christmas, before Halloween, we had Black Christmas. This has not aged a bit. I've got to get the bloody Blu-ray, I know. Yeah, having it on VHS tape, whatever, who cares? It doesn't matter. Um, Black Christmas is brilliant, scary, 
another intelligent film and wow oh man just fantastic. I've got a few Anchor Bay tins here as you can see and um, not all of them of course. I've got a few other limited editions as well like the Evil Dead sort of book thing and all that sort of shit. Um, but these are just the tins. I usually bought two as you can see the open ones and the sealed ones except for that one that's open as well as that one which I don't have a double of. But um, of all these things, my favourite one is easily the Let Sleeping Corpses Light in, of which there are only 5,000 copies made. But of these, there's a, f a few others that make um, my list of favourite horror movies, which I will show you shortly. You know what? Forget anything that Michael Radford did. This is the best bloody British film of the 80s, hands down. I don't care what anyone says. And again, another formative memory there with Hellraiser on VHS tape there. Brilliant cover from that Village Roadshow did. And of course, a very handsome um, two-disc set there from, uh, from Anchor Bay. Hellraiser is definitely a favourite. They say this is Fulci's masterpiece, and they're right. It is. It's just his best film. And... Um, I love this artwork. This is probably my favourite artwork on the Palace Explosive label. And that would make a nice DVD, don't you think? But anyway, um, beyond. Beautiful, beautiful edition there, of course, from Anchor Bay. We all know about it. Here's another film that haunted me bad when I was a kid, and that was Maniac. And I watched it over and over and over again because a friend had it on, had bought a copy of this very release and had it at our place for quite a long time so yeah watched it over and over again Maniac everyone knows about it beautiful DVD release there from uh, Anchor, Anchor Bay in particular but um, I believe this is the first DVD release someone could correct me if I'm wrong there from Elite Entertainment so I had to get that little baby yeah Maniac he's, he's a classic well who will ever forget the bloody first time they ever saw Reanimator on Vestron Home Video certainly not me and um, a film that I just loved as a kid and and suffice to say I had to get the limited edition little texture thing there and I still can't get over how they dropped the rating down to 15 can you believe it miracles do happen how on earth do you pick a favorite David Cronenberg movie I don't know I've got more than this but this is just all I can fit in the bloody frame and I can't be bothered picking the camera up so um, my favorite Cronenberg movie very difficult but I picked Videodrome and um, for this the sole reason that it was when you watch this now, you think, fuck, this film was bloody, con you know, just so provocative back in the day. And uh, you have to get the Criterion Uncut Edition. You have to see this properly, this film. It's brilliant. Videodrome, easily my favourite Cronenberg movie so far. He's got a couple of new movies coming out soon, so who knows, it could be overtaken. But yeah, this is a, an absolute classic. Well, I couldn't separate these two Argento films, um, Suspiria and Inferno. And I know Suspiria is a classic and it's like a nightmare and the Goblin soundtrack is brilliant. Love it. But I think Inferno, a lot of people don't like it because they think it's not enough gore or it's not tense enough and stuff like that. The fucking soundtrack in this movie is brilliant. It was done by Keith Emerson. And um, I think that added to this film, the atmosphere in this film was incredible. I think it's quite underrated. It's just a personal favourite. I'm not trying to convince anyone. But that, it's just a thing that I really, really appreciated about Inferno. And of course, um, the old Thorn Am I of Suspiria. A little tricky to find that one now. But um, yeah, so they're my two favourite Argento movies. Well, Peeping Tom, in my opinion, is a bit of an underrated little gem of a film. Directed by Michael Powell. It was a British film from 1960. It has come out on DVD in special editions and all that sort of stuff. I think the best versions are the Region 2 releases. But I think this is quite an atmospheric, very creepy little movie. Um, and yeah, I think it deserves a wider audience. So I really enjoyed that film. And it was a film that was actually banned here when it first uh, was submitted to the censors way back in the 60s. But obviously not now. Okay, well as you can see I've got quite a few box sets, enough almost to fill this table and there are probably more but these are just the ones I could be bothered bringing out um, or that I had ready at hand anyway. So I've shown most of these but there's a couple that I haven't and one is this one, the John Sayles collection of those three films there and um, you can usually get that quite cheaply at JB if you look hard enough. So we've got the Black Emanuel box set, the Amicus box sets, the Amodovar films, Akhand, H.G. Lewis, etc. Betty Page, Sex Adela Collection, there, the Radley Metzger films, Mondo Carney, etc. A couple of Aussie films, Jacques Tardy up the back, Arabelle, um, and this one here, the Ingmar Bergman Collection, I haven't shown before as well, of these four films on that doco. 
but of all these films, of all these box sets I should say, my favourite one hands down is definitely the John Waters Very Crudely Yours collection from New Line Cinema, the Region 1 release of course. You can get all these separately but the box set is just brilliant and amazing. Expensive now but um, is definitely worth the money. And um, oh, it'd be too hard to pick a John Waters favourite, but if I were to pick a favourite, I'd go for Desperate Living. Just pips, pink flamingos for me, but that's just a personal thing there. A second favourite of my box sets would easily be the Russ My collection. We only got a three disc collection, but the reason why that's a favourite is because it was the first time we ever saw those three films uncut in this country. And um, I think the British were lucky ducks, they got a, like a five disc collection of Russ Meyer films so good on them but um yeah only three discs for us but anyway of all those box sets those two are definitely the favourites there. I'm not embarrassed to admit it ladies and gentlemen Insatiable is definitely my favourite porn movie of all time and is a favourite among many collectors as well so um I've got a few different versions as you can see but yeah um the two disc DVD there is the best that you can buy so yeah Insatiable favourite porn movie of all time. Alright, I've got to end this video because otherwise it's just going to keep going on and on. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of Rocho Vibrant videos. Everything about my channel is about porno and horror. Well, not quite. I'm not that bloody pigeonholed. But um, I'm very proud of my collection. It's not all of them, just some of them. But I want to show you my favourite Rocho Vibrant of all time is definitely The After School Girls. A German film, I believe, from 1974 was released on DVD in Germany as well. And um, so, but apparently no English subtitles to my knowledge, it's the original German language, so if you understand German, I reckon you should go and get it. It's a great little sexploitation comedy from the 70s, so, but that's it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and um, thanks for watching, I will see you guys very soon.